Hey, I'm Lorelai, registered dietitian nutritionist. Welcome to my channel, Nutrition with Lorelai. So usually you'll see me on YouTube talking about healthy home cooking and showing you how to be healthy and cook delicious and nutritious meals in your kitchen. But I also wanted to do a little series on being a registered dietitian, how I became a registered dietitian, my experience becoming a registered dietitian, and perhaps this will be helpful for any of you who are interested in becoming a registered dietitian. So I already did one video that talks a little bit about, I guess, how I became a registered dietitian, the process, the schooling, also what the difference is between a dietitian and a nutritionist. But today what I wanted to talk a little bit about was actually my dietetic internship. This is a rite of passage that all dietitians must go through before you are allowed to sit for the registered dietitian exam, which is a big exam, and I will also do a video talking about studying for that exam. But I wanted to talk a little bit about my internship. So it's sometimes called an internship, it's sometimes called a supervised practice. Um, Basically what it is, is that you need to spend time working with other dietitians and gaining competency within different areas of the profession. There are different sectors that dietitians can work in and generally your internship, or my internship anyways, I should talk about mine, but most of them are pretty standardized throughout this country. I live in the United States. so. Um, they are all going to give you experience in these different sectors. So the first sector that you're probably going to spend the most time in is inpatient. You'll be working in a hospital. I was working in a hospital in the suburbs. It was a bit of a commute for me, which I didn't love, um, but I was working with four dietitians. So there was one lead dietitian who was my preceptor. So every site that you work at as a, an intern or as um, you know, a student dietitian, you will have someone who's kind of in charge of you and they are your preceptor. So one was my preceptor, but I did work with all of the other dietitians at different times. So part of it was shadowing them, but really only at first. I was there for three months. So I had three months full-time work or 12 weeks, I guess, working with at, in an inpatient setting. Um, as an inpatient dietitian, your responsibility is basically for the acute nutritional status of patients who are in the hospital. Most of them are in the hospital for reasons other than nutrition, but we screen for things like malnutrition because sometimes someone will show up for one thing, but they'll have multiple things going on with them. So we screen patients to make sure that they aren't malnourished, and if they are, we would, um, you know, I guess, prescribe medical nutrition therapy for that situation. We also, if patients are in the hospital for a long time, wanna check in with them and making sh make sure they're being fed adequately while they're there during their stay. And then there also might be nutritional reasons that a dietitian would be needed. So if someone has come in because they have like uh, acute um, hyperglycemia or something like that. It might be that they are just getting diagnosed with type 2 diabetes and so then a dietitian would go in to educate them about sort of going forward how they would need to eat. So those are kinds of the roles that a dietitian would play in the hospital. There are a lot of other little things that might come up in a situation like that but I spent three months in that rotation and it actually is supposed to prepare you to then be able to go and take a job as an entry-level dietitian in a hospital or clinical setting. Clinical settings are probably the biggest source of jobs for new dietitians. Although I thought my internship experience or my rotation experience, which is also sometimes what it's called, was great, I didn't feel like that was necessarily what I wanted to do as a dietitian. So that was my personal experience with inpatient. I've always been drawn to nutrition and dietetics as a preventative medicine, as it were. So I think that having good nutrition can prevent chronic disease states, but when you're dealing with people in a hospital setting, you're really not there talking to them about you know, what their diet is on a regular basis. You might ask those questions, but chances are you're not in a position to be able to influence that going forward because you're only seeing them while they're in the hospital and usually they have more important things to worry about. You're making sure that they stay fed and 
nourished while they're there. Oh, the other thing that an inpatient dietitian might be doing, um, especially one who's working in the ICU, is dealing with patients who are either tube fed because they're intubated and they can't, you know, they can't breathe, they can't eat, or sometimes even fed through their veins if for some reason their digestive tract is not allowing for them to be fed through the normal ways. So you would be the one who would be like calculating their nutrition, um, either enteral nutrition, which is through a tube through their nose or through their stomach, or uh, parenteral nutrition, which is through a tube through their veins. So you would be the one calculating that as well in an acute inpatient setting. The second rotation that all dietitians are gonna go through is outpatient, which may be some of the same disease states, oftentimes outpatient, People who are able to see an outpatient dietitian have type 2 diabetes or chronic kidney disease. And in fact, in the US at least, those are basically the two big conditions uh, that insurance will cover someone's dietitian expenses. So I had an outpatient rotation. Um, it was only one month long. And uh, the one that I actually worked with, it was um, a situation where dietitians were going to people's homes and giving them providing them with nutrition counseling there. And so usually the dietitian would meet with a patient for one hour about once a month. And then you would have a chance to kind of talk to them about their nutrition on a daily basis, talk about setting some goals and making progress. And then because you knew you'd be seeing them again in another month, although because I was only there a month, I, I think there was maybe only one or two patients that I saw more than once through the whole time I was there. Um, then you, you can follow up with their goals and so you can kind of see them on a more ongoing basis and hopefully have some influence on the long term for them. So that's more counseling and talking about lifestyle. However, for the most part, when it comes to outpatient, because people are going to be charging based on insurance, you're not probably gonna be talking to people who just wanna improve their health. That might be something that you would do if you were in private practice as a dietitian. And that might be what most people think of when they think of dietitians, is someone who's in private practice, who's working with healthy people to get healthier. Um, and you can do that, but that's not what most dietitians actually do. Um, I did not have a rotation with anyone who was doing anything in private practice. I did not have a rotation working with athletes or sports nutrition, although I did get um, some schooling, some, you know, I did study sports nutrition while I was in school. I did not have a rotation that reflected that. I did go to school with a couple of people who were focused on spo sports nutrition, um, and they actually, I think a couple of them, had a special internship program where most of their focus was more in that direction. Okay, so inpatient, outpatient, community. So most dietitians, at least the ones that I know, are gonna all have a community rotation. So what is community nutrition? Generally, community nutrition is focused towards an audience that is that tends to be underserved. So you might be working for like a government program like, um, like WIC or for um, like a food pantry or something like that, someplace that hires dietitians to help meet the needs of people who maybe don't normally have access to nutrition services. For me, I actually had kind of an unusual community one. Um, I was with a, um, a small, actually it was kind of a startup company that did after school cooking classes with kids. And it was, um, it was a small organization. They didn't actually have a dietitian on staff. So although I had a preceptor, it was in rare situation where my preceptor was not a dietitian. And what we did a lot in that particular rotation, because there were three of us that were there at the same time from my program. So that sometimes happens that there might be more than one intern at a time. What we did is we did a lot of like research for recipes that would be healthy that they could teach kids to cook. And then we did some, um, some recipe testing, which was actually kind of fun. We got to test to see if things would work based on the type of equipment that they were able to send with the teachers to the schools, as well as the type of ingredients, because they were very concerned with not um, using ingredients that could be allergenic for kids, things like that. So a couple of times I went and watched a class that was as it was actually being taught, but we really didn't, as dietitians, do the teaching so much as some of the background curriculum information that we were doing. Okay, inpatient, outpatient, community, uh, what's, oh, food service. 
So my food service rotation, I worked for um, a school system and I worked for the school lunch program for, this was actually a different rotation for me, so it would have normally been one month, but because it was in a semester where I was actually taking classes, I just went two days a week for like three months. So it was um, still, it was the equivalent of a one month rotation. There are a lot of other food service rotations you could be in. So I would say generally your internship is not going to be working for like a restaurant as a dietitian, but you're more likely to be working for like a hospital in their, their food service program. So every hospital has a cafeteria. They serve food to the patients. So you might be working with that. You might be working with, like I said, like a school lunch program or something like that. So it's more likely gonna be an institutional food program. Maybe working with a nursing home. I do know there are some people that worked with maybe some smaller like startup companies that were you know providing food but that's generally what you would be doing for an internship so i worked for a school lunch program i actually really enjoyed my internship there my preceptor suggested a lot of projects so i got to do things like a student taste test we got to do um, a survey with the students on their customer satisfaction um, and a bunch of things like that so there were some projects involved in my oh we did a food waste study that was pretty interesting so there was another woman who was also interning with the same school system and one day we um, counted all of the food that was thrown away by students at the end of the meal uh, and it was pretty eye-opening just how much food actually gets wasted in a system like that so that was kind of sad but uh, but it was a great project and so we had a chance to do a lot of things like that so those are the four main areas that the internship at least for me and for most dietetic interns will uh, go into so inpatient outpatient food service and community and then generally there's an elective as well so most most people will have some other hours so it might be that you go back to one of the sites you were at previously and then you could actually kind of just do a month where you actually do the job and that's your internship where you're actually like kind of taking on all of the responsibilities that someone who's actually working there would take on um, I actually had my uh, elective at a children's hospital uh, and I actually really enjoyed this I had been become interested in working with kids while I was in school I hadn't really expected that I would find it interesting but I did find that nutrition of younger people was a little more interesting than nutrition with adults I also find that with kids there's an opportunity to have an impact on them that you don't have with adults who have already developed lasting habits. Um, so I worked for a children's hospital and a lot of times the dietitians there were working with children who did have significant nutritional needs like they you know in the GI department it would be like a kid who'd had to have part of their bowel removed or things like that or um, you know there were um, kids who had issues with their you know cardiac issues or um, kidney issues or things like that that actually because of what was going on with them they needed very specific nutrition support so I found it to be really interesting but it was a clinical inpatient setting as well um, there are a lot of other like alternative um, options that people could have taken on for something like that um, you could go into research so that might be an internship possibility um, something like sports nutrition would be also perhaps an elective option as well my dietetic internship was unpaid that is the standard for the majority of people i do believe that there are some internship programs which are probably extraordinarily competitive where you do get paid for your internship hours, but that's not gonna be the case. For the most part, you have an unpaid internship. It's gonna last you one year, and I actually had to even pay for my internship because it was part of my school. Like, I was set up with an internship um, because I was in a coordinated program, but I was actually paying for credit hours during the whole time I was doing my internship. So, I, not only did I not get paid, but I was paying money to work 40 hours a week during that whole time. So it's not like a little breezy nothing to become a dietitian. You're really getting a lot of experience before you are even allowed to sit for the exam, which you then have to pass and become a registered dietitian. But the idea of the internship is hopefully, not only does it gain you experience, but it does help you to build some connections so that perhaps you can go to some of those places later on and say, hey, I worked for you. If they're hiring someone and you really liked the work there, you might be able to get a job with those people again, especially if you built a relationship with them. 
Personally, I did not fall in love with the actual work I was doing at any of my rotation sites. Not necessarily surprising. So then I started to make some nutrition videos online and then I started looking for some positions as well. And I will talk in a later video about my first job as a dietitian and perhaps I will continue to talk to you a bit about my ongoing work as a dietitian in the field aside from what I'm doing with you online with YouTube. If you have any questions or comments, let me know. And if there is anything that you would like to hear about, I'd love to know. When I was looking to become a dietitian, I was always looking for information like this because I wanted to know what to expect going forward. I know most people who are watching my channel are probably watching for healthy cooking ideas and recipes, but it could be a combination. And I do think it could also be interesting, even if those for those of you who are looking for the recipes, just to kind of know what a dietitian is and why it's different to hear from me providing you recipe ideas than it might be to hear from just some other, you know, a culinary person or just a, a blogger or a vlogger, I guess, who's saying, hey, this is what I eat in a day, this is the way I cook. What is the difference between hearing that from that person and hearing from a registered dietitian who's studied and has experience in the field of nutrition? All right, let me know if you have questions or comments and I hope you'll join me again next time. Take care. Bye. <laughs>